Recently I uploaded a video on my HP printer and after doing a little more research after I got done uploading it, I think I may have narrowed down the issue. I'm not certain, but I think it has to do with a component on the very back called diffuser. And I think that's the reason why I'm having these little issues right here. If I manage to pull the thing apart to where I can take a look at the fuser and possibly clean it, theoretically, this thing will be fully working. I had to tear the whole goddamn thing apart. At least it looks like the fans they're using are a standard type. So if I want to swap these out for Noctua fans down the road, I can do that. And if I manage to resolve the issue this thing's having, I'm more or less going to do that because these fans are pretty noisy. This is a little piece of shit I had to tear the whole thing apart for. I don't know how well I can show it off, but you see that little bit of black splurge right there? That's the issue. Because the rest of this roll is supposed to look like this. But as you can see, there's some damage right there, and it looks to be ink damage. So as long as it's ink damage and not something physically wrong with the roller itself, cleaning that roller is all I really need to do. And like I also mentioned before, replace the uh, actual toners and whatnot. Because again, the black one here is definitely damaged. The red one is also damaged, but you have to actually uh, find... Well, it's right there. Okay, so yeah. Like I said, if, this, if I manage to pull that stupid little mechanism apart to clean that roller and the roller stays clean, chances are 75 bucks is all I need to put into this thing. And if I can't fix the roller, then replacing this whole mechanism here is about like 200 something odd dollars. But considering how nice this uh, printer is, and generally speaking, it works. If, if this is what I need to replace, then if I can find it for somewhat cheap and actually not buy some little shitty AliExpress thing, then so be it. Because I'd rather put $200 into a very nice office grade laser jet than put... God only knows how much money into these inkjets. Even though this inkjet right here is a very good office grade inkjet, I'd much prefer to use a laser jet just because, let's be honest, laser jets are nicer. And since I have everything strewn throughout the table, I'm going to work on this in my bedroom. At least I have some mid to watch as I'm tearing apart this monstrosity. Apparently I had a piece of paper jammed in there. I don't think this is from uh, what caused this. This is probably when I caused a jam by accident. Luckily though, all I need to do to remove this whole thing is just use this little roll right here and I can actually move this through and whatnot. So the next thing to do is obviously clean the thing off and hopefully remember how to put this godforsaken monstrosity back together. So, uh, pray for me in the comments, and I'll come back when I get this thing cleaned. It kind of needs it. It looks to be a uh, piece of plastic. Now, I don't know what this thing actually is, and this might actually be the thing breaking down. Hopefully it's not, but I'm going to pull that and see what happens, because I think maybe what happens is that some decided to put some uh, paper in there and like had like, some type of tape or something, and that tape adhered to this because in my research, again, I know nothing of these. So I'm just spouting what I saw. This thing right here actually heats up. And if that's the case, and this is supposed to be like the pressure roller that actually squeezes everything. More than likely what happens is that when this roller heated up and the tape hit the roller, the tape got pulled from the paper. And well, that's what happened. So if that's really the case and that's what is causing this printer the issues... Then for 35 bucks, I got myself a real nice uh, laser jet. I'm pretty sure and a few might be pulling their hair out right now. But uh, of course, like I said, I never messed with one of these before. I only spent 35 bucks on this printer. And well, I tried cleaning it. And I don't know if me using isopropyl alcohol did it. Or the fact that the uh, ink was so severely baked into the roller caused it. But either way, when I started cleaning it off. The, uh, what I initially thought was tape turned out to be the actual little thin plastic layer, protection layer of the roller. And well, now the whole roller is completely cooked. I mean, the roller was already cooked, but it's far more cooked than it was before. So now I have a few options. Option one, buy a whole new uh, fuse unit for about 280 bucks. 
this guy right here go on to amazon and buy two replacement rollers the little pink roller and then the black roller that goes across the uh, actual heating element and then get some uh, hp uh laser jet grease where the heck do i get that i don't know for about maybe 60 70 bucks or option number three which is the cheapest option go back to my local free geek since we got a bunch of these little hp printers in today go to the gaylord bin that they're in find one that's either near exact or exact pull the fuse unit out of that pay five bucks after i make sure the actual rollers are pristine take it home and hope to god that it actually works and i do know for certain that uh, the heating element in this guy does work so even if i get a fuse unit where the heating element doesn't work on it i can pull the heating element out of this one put it into the new one i get and theoretically it will also work completely fine again i gotta go back to my local free geek next week and actually uh, salvage one of these so uh, with that said, I will uh, upload this video as is and hope that sometime next week I'll have a separate video up of saying, hey, I fixed this stupid thing.